everyone. As usual, hope you had an amazing week. I'm still out and about in my Sunlight motorhome and today I have come to Shipley Glen. This place is one of my favorite places to ride in the UK. I used to live like half an hour away from here. I used to come here most weekends and yeah, I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna ride on my hex. Later on, Jack Carthy is gonna come and we're gonna make a separate video then, but yeah. Let's see what I can get up to. Let's get riding. I've come to, uh, well, I don't know if this bit's got a name, but let's call it the Bowl. This is quite a popular place that people come. When I think of Shipley Glen, I kind of think of this area. And uh, we've got a few bits and bobs here. Now I've got my camera pointing, but the one thing you don't see with the camera is some of these drops and cracks. And it's not the biggest drop in the world, but some of the stuff I want to do here, if you end up going down there, you're not going to have a good time. Okay, so I'm rising up there, but I cannot get a decent angle of what I'm going to do. So I've got my camera down here and I've just got to figure out how to get back up. Let's see. There we go. I don't know why I'm starting with like one of the more serious lines, but I just kind of want to get it out of the way. Anyway, wish me luck. Fair play inspired, you flew across that. Right, I'm actually, I wanna ride down in the woods cause I've not ridden or filmed much in the woods anywhere up here. I've always stayed on the top. Because actually, there's some really good stuff down there. So let's head down. <sighs> right, so let's find some rocks. Now, I've actually got a really cool rock here. This is just down from where I was up there. It's like either a really big war ride or I wonder if I can just get up this thing. Interesting, how could I get off this if I got on it? I wonder if I could go down that way there. Oh, well, let's uh, set the camera down and see what I can do. All right, let's give this a try. Get rid of that branch. Get rid of this branch. Try and ramp up there or something. Throw some moves at it, see what sticks, literally. Oh man, yeah, I reckon that'll work. Ah, oh, almost. That is almost the one. That's gonna be hard to get up from that position, but if we can refine that a bit, we can make that work. It's got a slight overhang lip at the top, which just isn't ideal. Oh, come on. Back wheel just slams into it, stopping all my upwards momentum. Ah, we've got our first battle of the day, guys. Bring it on. Don't think I'll be this chirpy if I'm still doing this in an hour. There we go. And the second bit. <laughs> Whoa, that's scary. Oh my God, that's actually terrifying. I can't go straight down because I'll just die. I need to go down that bit. All right, well, at least I know I can do the first bit. I then need to figure out how to get over there. Ah, 
that's what happens when you hit it too low. Oh man, I really <laughs> got lucky first of all, but I also really need to sort this helmet out. I was so gonna ride out of that, but my helmet went over my eyes. God damn it, I've got to do it again now. All right, wish me luck. <sighs> Not a good start, <laughs> come on. Thank God I don't have to do that again. Oh my God, that was horrible. <laughs> to see my face, that was pure exhilaration that I don't have to do that again. Oh my God, that was horrible. In your face. <sighs> this is what I call the Ship Glen drop. I don't think I've seen other people do it, but I've done it a few times and it definitely looks worse than it is. I always try and challenge people to walk up the thing without using their hands. It's pretty awkward, but there are footholds that you can do it if you do it really carefully, but I'm going to get up there, do the drop because it's actually quite fun. Ah, no. Might send this into Rampage, see if they let me enter on a trials bike. There's a time limit for getting down the hill, isn't there? That was better. This rock here, I honestly can't remember if I did the full line or not, but I've rediscovered it. So you start up here and it's basically a sloped hook. So you can go up hook over, go on top, but then you got this big old drop here. I don't know why I'm finding the more disgusting stuff today, but essentially that's a wheelbase length on top. So it's not like you can get ready on the back wheel or anything. It's sloped and that's a big drop. The advantage is it is a slope run out and there's nothing too major to hit so you can go all the way down to the bottom if you need be but yeah let's take a look let's see if it's doable oh, bash guard touch. right this is my first look how the how am i gonna do that i'm gonna have to like shunt my way off they say do one thing every ride that scares you today i think everything i'm doing is scaring me And stop. Whoa. <laughs> that is intense. That needs a camera angle from down here. Gonna have to do it again. Yeah, from there to where I'm landing about down there. That's a long way. But that actually went all right. So we're doing a second angle. Fingers crossed I'm not playing with fire here. Oh man, other than the fear, that is really quite fun.
I'm in the mood for roll downs. Greasy, mossy roll downs. Roll downs of doom. Roll downs of gloom. But roll downs that will make me bloom. Right. I appear to have found a roll down. We are on a hill, so it's either across the hill, up the hill, or down the hill. Down the hills are easier than going up, so roll downs it is. <laughs> oh my god. That was way more disgusting than I thought it was going to be. Hopefully it looks good. I found a rock here, a line that I remember trying years and years and years ago. I think I was riding my old Ashton back in the day. And I was trying to hook up this and I don't think I ever got it. Now looking at it now, it actually could be possible. The reason being, I couldn't bunny hop that bike. I can bunny hop this and I'm not sure if you can see, but down there, that is actually a little kicker. So it's literally not even a run up, it's a jab on the pedal and then just go. But I don't know, I, it looks doable. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that's doable. It's one of these ones you don't know where to look. Obviously, that's where you're going to end up, and you'd think you need to look up there. But I'm concentrating all on this kicker, making sure I'm hitting it exactly where I need to, and then suddenly looking up there. That's what Danny does with kickers, that's what I find works best. Might not work for some people, but concentrate on that, then that. <laughs> oh man, been doing lots of drops today. Gonna be feeling this tomorrow, but I'm glad I got that hook, that's for sure. Right, well, if this is a day of doing scary stuff, may as well continue that theme. We've got this rock here. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Uh, you just have to wait and see. <laughs> yeah, that was disgusting, but not actually that difficult, just really horrible to do. I'm really happy with that. Onwards, what's next? This is a roll down that I've done before and I only just remembered it now. I completely forgot about it until I was over there and I saw it and I was like, oh my God, that's a roll down done. So I've got to go and check it out. I'm really tempted to give it a try. If I've done it before, I know I can do it again, but it's pretty hefty. But I've been doing some hefty stuff today and it's been going all right. So I feel like playing with fire just a little bit more. So let's go take a look. <laughs> oh my word, that tree isn't helping. <laughs> But as far as runouts go, that is the best runout I think I've had all day. So let's send it. I can't stop. <laughs> that gives you some speed. <laughs> Whoa. I used to love this little area here. I always found this so hard to get up. It's got a good run up, but for some reason it's always difficult. I think because it's got that overhang, it always played with my mind. But I feel like stomping it today, make myself feel good, get some improvement for the previous years.
I think I've gone a bit loopy with all these roll downs, but I was up there and I saw that and I was like, that is disgusting. It'd be so cool, but I don't dare do that. But now that I've come down here, it's actually not a bad run out. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. It doesn't look as steep down here as it does up there. So I've got the camera out. I'm going to roll the GoPro. I'm going to go up and try and commit. But I really hope this comes across on camera. It kind of starts off wide, but as it comes down, it tapers. And by the time you come down here, you've got to be that accurate. And this stuff, it's not grippy, it's lichen. So once you're down here, there's no stopping. You've got to be fully committed and you've got to be in the right place. Let's go take a look. See, if I start going slow and lean, you're just done for. Man, I just get so wobbly. <laughs> this is the sound of a very relieved alley right now. Oh wow, that was horrible. Today has been a day of just horrible roll downs. Honestly, this was not planned to do this. I just can't resist a good roll down. Gonna dial back the danger a little bit and try a line which a local rider back in the day, Adam Wilson did. And it was in a video and it blew my mind. It's one of the coolest things I, I ever saw. And over the years, I've tried to replicate it and I don't think I ever did it as stylishly as he did it. But today, I reckon I've got it. I'm feeling confident. So let's see if I can do what he did 15 years ago. Great my way out of that. Didn't dab though. And I got the line. <laughs> hey, I'd love to watch it back and compare my technique and his technique. That felt really good, but who knows if it was as stylish as he did it. You know what? This has been an absolutely excellent ride. I love coming and riding Shipley Glen. Even on like a streety bike, it's still really good here. And actually this is one reason why I like the Hex. I find 26 inch wheels a little bit more versatile. The ride rocks a little bit better than 24 inch. Plus there's more tire choice. So these Maxxis Crossmark Mark IIs, they have a, a little bit more bite. They're a little bit better for riding natural. By the way, if you do want some Crossmarks, tire bikes have them in. I'd highly recommend them for street riding if you have a 26 inch trials bike. Like I mentioned, today has been a day of scaring myself. It wasn't planned. I didn't have a plan. I just came to Shipley Glen wanted to go and have a look, find some stuff that I thought would look really cool, be fun to do, and it just turned out to be really scary stuff, mainly roll downs. But I hope you enjoyed it. This is gonna be the end of the video. I'm gonna go and charge the batteries because Jack Carthy is turning up in less than an hour. I need to rest, get some food because I need to film another video today. As usual, I'd love to know your thoughts. Hit me up down in the comments, let me know what you think. If you're not subscribed, please hit the button. I'm trying to get myself to 100,000. I got hacked recently, I was so close. I was just a couple of days away, a few hundred people away from that goal, uh, and I got set back again. But I'm still close, so if you aren't subscribed, click the button. 
And if you did make it to the end of this video, thank you very much. It means you must have been enjoying it. If you do enjoy these videos, then please consider hitting me up on Patreon for longer videos released when they're made rather than waiting for a schedule. If you want to support me, you can go to aliclaxon.com, pick up some merch. You get some cool t-shirts, hats, mugs, whatever you want. And if you want to support me, but you just don't want any obligation, then hit me up with a PayPal donation. Any little bit really does help with this channel. But anyway, thanks for watching. It's been great to be back on the Hex. I know you guys have been asking for that. Lots more Hex riding to come. I hope you have an absolutely amazing week and I'll catch you next time. So thanks a lot, guys. See you later.